Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my videos. Today, I thought I'd bring it back and do a beauty video. I just was in the mood to actually comb my hair today, curl it, not just, you know, quick bun. That's usually my like, oh, let's just, you know, do something with it hair. But today I wanted to film a makeup look using makeup that's $10 or less because we love balling on a budget and there's been some new products that I've been, you know, have purchased. I haven't bought any makeup in a while. I've been very, very good. But I think some that you should totally incorporate into your makeup kit. So if you want, let's go ahead and get started. And we're actually going to do it a little bit backwards today. So normally I do my eye look, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. So we're going to start on the face and i'm going to bring out this guy the elf poreless putty primer this primer is only eight dollars you guys have not checked it out like oh my god i love it <laughs> if you guys have not checked it out you totally should i have been using the good molecules silicone free primer but that one's about $14, so it's a moisturizer slash primer. And technically, I actually have that on as my moisturizer. So, I mean, if you want to skip a step, essentially, and use that moisturizer as your primer, you can. But I still love the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Definitely gives you that nice canvas to kind of work with. And I do have the Luminous Poreless luminous putty primer but the og one is still honestly my favorite and i have dry skin for those of you who don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with that and add that to my face and let it kind of just sink in to the skin next the foundation i'm gonna go ahead and use is a favorite of mine it is the wet and wild photo focus a foundation this is the dewy version for those of you who have oily skin their original is amazing it's like a nice semi demi matte which honestly was still amazing for my dry skin but but I love this one even better. Like, ooh, it just makes my skin look so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this guy on my face because I do like wearing makeup and just, you know, to get that photo for the day and just feel kind of good about my face. Maybe I'll actually go into Instagram. <laughs> Usually when I do my IG stories, it's like, damn, I should probably actually wear makeup and maybe actually do my hair, but that's reality, so. <laughs> my hair is usually a hot mess and I haven't really been wearing makeup monday through friday so that's just you know how it is so i'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over her face with a sponge i like this foundation with a sponge or even with a flat top brush but i figured you know let's just save some and the sponge is the morphe sponge which i think is about eight dollars that foundation also is anywhere from like six to seven dollars very affordable the only thing it does have a strong scent so if you're someone who's sensitive to smell maybe you might not like it but like it goes away like i don't even mind it for the coverage and the dewiness that it gives me my dry skin which is not easy i will trade it so now we got one layer on. I'll just kind of go in and pop it around some other areas around my face. And because I do like me a nice and medium to full coverage. I just, I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> That's just how I like my makeup. Let me know, are you, what kind of coverage you like? Light, light, medium, 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 medium to full coverage. <laughs> I like a good medium to full. Next, what I'm going to go ahead and take is my e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer, especially since we're going to do a very dewy look. I want something very hydrating underneath the eyes. And I'm only going to take one today. I won't be extra. We're going to go ahead and take the medium beige shade. And we're going to use that under the eyes. Usually, I'll mix medium sand, which is a little bit darker for my under eye circles. And then I'll put this medium beige. But I think we're only going to use this medium beige. I'm actually not gonna put this on my lid. Normally, I'll use my concealer as my eyeshadow base, but this one is a little bit too creamy, a little bit too hydrating for that, so I'm actually gonna use my other e.l.f. Camel Concealer, my very mattifying one. And I could have used that for my concealer as well, but I feel like that one is just, you know, the, the contrast of the matte and the dewiness. You know what, I'm gonna do me. That's what I'm doing today. <laughs> so you do you. How about that? To set underneath my eyes, I'm going to take my NYX HD Finishing Powder. This bad boy is anywhere, I think it's like 8 to $10. So before we go in, I like to do like one final pet through because I just have really bad creasing under my eyes. So it's important that I do this 
and then keep your eyes open and then we kind of set that it just makes a huge difference in how my concealer sets throughout the day so just patting that in and getting it ready and now we're going to do the other eye I don't know how some people just let it after they've blended it out just let it sit there do the rest of their face and then come back to that I was like no way I would be like a crease mess I don't know I must have really great under eyes before we put that away I'm gonna go in with my elf this is the 16 hour this is the original camel concealer this is a more matte concealer so this I'm gonna use as my eyeshadow base so we're just gonna Get that in there and this will ensure my eyeshadow sends out but also that we're not gonna crease and then just like the under eyes we're also even though it's matte I'm just gonna go ahead and still set that so while we let the foundation kind of sit sink in on the face I'm actually gonna take my Milani precision a brow pencil and go ahead and draw in my brows and I'll be right back all right, we've got our brows on. Who here has been keeping up with their brow game or at least trying to? I did try to do some plucking, so bear with me. But this is what we have to work with our brows. We're gonna, ooh, we should probably clean that guy up right there. Hold on. That's the best we can do for right now. <laughs> Don't worry, the rest of the face will start coming together once we have uh, everything else on. So let's see what we're gonna do. So the palette that I wanted to use today was the Milani. This is their most wanted palette in the shade Burning Desire. They have a bunch of different ones. And I actually, I just really like this palette a lot and I haven't played with it. So we're gonna take this one today and let's see. So let's go in. I wanna do something kind of simple actually. So let's take, I'll just use my finger since I forgot a shade brush. So let's go in with this guy. I'm going to do this on my lid. I kind of want to keep it somewhat matte on my face. I'm not into the shimmers. Very nice, simple, easy, matte look. So let's go in. I'm going to take a Morphe brush. This is an M433 and they don't have a name. So I'm going to go in with this orange shade kind of as like my transition. I'm just gonna put that in my crease, just tap it in there and brush it in. And I kind of wanted to start with something a little bit more smaller just so I can make this a little bit more controlled, but feel free to use a bigger fluffy brush. This is just the mood I was in today. And I feel like these most wanted palettes are just another great addition to an eyeshadow palette of Milani's that just has that amazing formula. They did have one palette, I forgot which one it was, but it was just, I think it was the Rouge palette, I don't know. That one, for some reason, it just kind of fell a little bit short, but the rest of their palettes have been great. And these mini ones, I feel like especially if you're someone who maybe feels a little overwhelmed <laughs> by all those other palettes, I think this is a good one to have in your kit if you just want something for every day they have like a nice like neutral kind of a brown one if you want something for every day i think that'd be great to have in your collection for either your zoom work calls or if and when we ever get out into society <laughs> but for something nice every day quick and easy i think that these palettes are really nice because I know some people love a good deal where it's like 24 shades or 30 shades for this amount of money, but then some people can feel a little overwhelmed. And I agree, I've sometimes felt a little bit overwhelmed and I use like the same five colors in a palette sometimes. It's hard to kind of force yourself to, you know, go out of it. Maybe the next tutorial we can just make a little bit more colorful. But I mean, raise your hand if you love like a good, easy, neutral look. I like to, you know, have looks that people can easily recreate, but you know, I do like to mix it up and have some color, some shimmer, some glam from time to time. So maybe we'll glam it up a little bit more our next tutorial. But for now, let's keep it simple and easy. Cause you know I ain't going nowhere. Maybe we'll do a tutorial for, uh, what is it, Club Daddy? Who's been going to <laughs> the best virtual bar club club daddy i gotta go to one of these days i always watch the i always watch them i don't actually participate since i'm doing keto i was like i don't really want to do alcohol right now so maybe maybe if we're still in it till june i'll do it for my birthday next shade from the palette i'm gonna take is the last matte one which is just like a nice burnt red shade and this one i'm gonna go ahead and use this is the anastasia beverly hills it's just like one of their brushes that comes in their palettes 
but you can use another Morphe M433 brush. This one I just kind of want for that precise placement. So this one I just want to get right into the crease and I will blend that out. And I'll turn the brush around, which is why I really like these, and we can blend that together with the orange shade. Something really quick and easy. Same thing on this side, just kind of patting that in and moving the rest of the shade color inside and trying to be careful not to drop it. This is why I usually do my eye shade first because I'm such a messy person with my shadows. It's always like, it's such an art when I see people do their face makeup first and then their eyeshadow. I'm like, whoa, how sway, how? All right, that's pretty much what I want to do for my eyeshadows. Next, I'm just going to dip into a little bit more of that white and just kind of take that underneath the brow bone, especially in case you went a little bit too high. That's okay. It's like a little magic eraser. And don't worry, we're going to blend that out, taking that fluffy brush and blending that out. No additional product. Let's do nice little circular motions. Same thing on this side. I always, for some reason, I've been forgetting my under eyes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that red and that same Anastasia brush, just something nice and stiff, and we're gonna go underneath the lash line. Same thing on this side. And finally, going back with a little bit of that orange and that same Morphe M433 brush. Make sure you tap that off before, before you get all the fallout. <laughs> Hmm, do we want to wing? Let's wing it out. I'm gonna, actually, I don't know. We'll see how much we have left. I feel like I have to get, no, I think we can wing it out. This is my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. It's been a hot minute since I've done a wing. Let's wing it out. All right, so while we did the liner, I figured I'd go ahead and do my lashes, Ardell Wispies. And next, we're gonna go ahead and do some bronzer. Should I? Let's just do bronzer. We're gonna go ahead and do bronzer. This is my Milani. This is the Silky Matte Bronzer. And I'm gonna use a dual fiber brush since this one is like really pigmented. I was debating if I wanted to do face powder, but I think we're gonna skip it for today. And we're just gonna go ahead and add this to our cheeks. This is definitely, I think bronzer is definitely one of my favorite parts other than lipstick. One of my favorite parts of makeup. I feel like it just brings the face together. Comment down below what's your favorite part of doing your makeup. Mine, yes, team bronzer. All right, next, what I like to do just for some cleanup, I like to go back in with that NYX HD finishing powder. And just kind of clean up the bottom. And for our blush, we're gonna use my Milani Luminoso blush. I feel like I could probably even use this eyeshadow as like a blush too, but I want something a little bit more illuminating on the cheeks and it just goes well with the color scheme we have going on here. Now for the lips, we can kind of do anything, a lot of things actually. <clears throat> Which, of course, I don't know what I'm going to choose. We've got options. It's May. Summery. However, <laughs> we also had, like, a polar vortex. Are having a polar vortex, apparently, here in Chicago. So it's, like, 30s, 40s, you know? So, yeah. How summery is it? Only summery on my face. I'm going to go ahead. No additional product on this brush. I'm just using it to just blend my blush, my bronzer, and wipe off that powder. Try not to wipe off your lashes. Just make everything a little bit more seamless. For my highlight, I brought on an oldie but a goodie. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. This one is in Molten Rose Gold. They have a rose gold, which is beautiful, but I just think that one's a little bit better suited for like medium to deep skin tones. Gorgeous. I think I actually finally gave that to one of my friends too, but the rose gold I think is good if you're on my skin tone. I could probably have pulled off that uh, gold, molten gold, in the summertime when I get really tan, but who knows how tan I'm going to get <laughs> this summer. And if I do, it's going to be like an awkward tan where like half the top of my face probably gets tan. That's going to be interesting. I'll probably wear more makeup. Mm -hmm. Let's see what uh, lipsticks we come up with.
Also, don't forget to put on your Make It Last Makeup Setting Spray by Milani, $10. Or if you want the mini version, also they have a little bit cheaper too. For my lipstick, I was looking through my collection and I realized I need some more brights in my life. I can't wait to get out and find some summer infused colors. But one that stood out to me today and that I was feeling with, vibing with, is my ColourPop Runaway Lipstick. A very, very bright pink also kind of matches my nails a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, I was looking at my other lipsticks and I realized like, wow, I have a lot more like berries, more like fall winter muted colors maybe some like pastelish ish um spring colors but i was like we need some more brights if you're afraid of getting into the reds try a nice bright pink like this one color pop a lippy stick and runaway what are these like six or seven dollars a great way to get into the bright colors if you're someone you know who likes maybe the baby pinks the light peaches i used to be like that too but we about all the color now and so this is a nice little you know color to choose for i feel like any lipstick color can go with this eye look maybe not a purple but who knows but this is my makeup look using products ten dollars and under it can be done believe me don't feel like you need to spend so much money to get a real glam makeup look the drugstore is where it's at just find those hidden gems from the drugstore maybe the next video i can do is just talk about my or use makeup my most used makeup products and that'll be a nice little mix of probably some more affordable products and maybe some more higher end for those of you who do like to dabble a little bit more in the mid-range or high end I feel like that's kind of where I go to as well so let me know if you want to see that video next but I hope you guys enjoyed this one for those of you who do want to play with some makeup who want to you know just give yourself a refresher even if you're just walking around the house or if you are going to a virtual clubs these days and you want to look good something quick and easy this is the look for you guys I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with the rest of my videos and I'll see you guys next time.